I had to wake up watching first thing first. I, I finally get it. I finally get it. Nick Wright is a hater. Nick Wright is a hater. He's a Steph Curry hater. He got up to all the brunch and he got mad. Remember I made a video last week uh, on, on Friday night. I said, when Jeff Van Gundy said it, Steph Curry's playing like LeBron carrying his team like LeBron James offensively in his finals. I think Nick Wright lost lost his mind. He he didn't understand that the, the players on the Warriors was playing bad. And Jeff Van Gunny and myself, we was talking about he's playing like this in his finals. He's averaging 34. He's carrying the load like LeBron did in that finals. Not for the whole playoff run. And not that he got bad players around him. First of all, LeBron ain't had bad players around him. So Nick Wright kill out that narrative. Somehow he just got a discount discredit. Steph Curry and bring up LeBron James because he's feel threatened that Steph Curry is coming for LeBron James' legacy. That's what Nick Wright, and he got to protect it at all costs. He got to protect Daddy Lexi at all costs. I mean, he was just, you should have heard him to this morning. He don't. He, he, he said he don't want to talk about Andrew Wiggins because Andrew Wiggins make him like a clown because he said Andrew Wiggins was going to be a terrible trade. Wiggins showing out to me. They take him to play in his finals. He don't want to talk. He's talking about Poole shot was lucky. Poole practiced a long distance shot. If he banked it in because he shot a long ass, well, he, these guys don't play basketball. It's a lot of luck in some, a lot of shots. He banked it in because it was a long ass shot and he put a lot in it. Anyways, uh, Nick Wright said he, he, Jeff Agunny did it on a broadcast, brought up when he has plenty of, they, they, they won a game when he didn't play great. Well, first of all, a lot of people, and, and, and give credit to Indoka, a lot of that shit, they didn't let Steph get off tonight. They had two on him. Every time they do, they, they do the people they blitzed him. They sent, they sent two his way. So Steph Curry, gravity in his level, like they said, they said his gravity, his impact on the court without making shots, let everybody else go. Wiggins going, Wiggins let Wiggins go get thirty. Let Clay go try to get thirty. And they answered, and they and they showed up. Even Draymond Green had his best offense performance, even though it was only eight points. Mr. Triple Single. He, he he was scoring. He scored one of his best offense. He had eight points, eight assists, eight assists, and seven rebounds. Something like that. Line that stat line. Everybody else game open. Wiggins was open up twenty six. They let him open. They let him go one on one. Clay had twenty two. Poole got going. So it's like, yeah, all the chance you go to stuff. Like if you know bat, he don't know basketball. He look at stats and like, did he make a shot? Did he did he shoot the ball well? He don't look at the eight assists. He don't look at the plus minus. Steph was the, the had the biggest plus minus. He look at it from a, a just a stat sheet. He, he look at the stat sheet. Oh, Steph ain't shoot well, but the Warriors won the game. But he didn't he didn't break down in detail on why the, the the Warriors won the game and why. Do you see Steph got a shit block? Steph got a shot block. Steph got a shot block by growing women. They had two. Tay, they put they put Tatum on six foot six nigga, and then all of them stepping up on the uh, on the screen. They showed on on, on the high screen road. They all showed, and he didn't make a shot. Some of them he got open looks, but he was off the whole night. But that didn't. That, but credit itself to defense and credit to Warriors, Andrew Wiggins, Clay Thompson, and Poole, and Draymond, and all the other guys, other stepping up and carrying the load. And I said it, and because the Warriors defense has been spectacular, and they wins. Steph played defense. He moved. He moved his feet better. He played help defense. He helped. He was more consistent on defense, not getting blown by. So I, Nick Wright is just trying to protect LeBron James' legacy. And nobody ever prepared him to the, that, that, that team. He said how he's carrying him through in this round. It's like LeBron James is what he put him on his back. And he was 34, 50%, 49 from feet. It would actually be factual. And don't you, how you gonna come from a, a Hall of Fame broadcasting coach and you just a nigga that's on TV that got a job for sucking up LeBron James? Get, give me give me a break. Stop. He's just a hater. He's a hater. Talking about it's not great that he's a top 15 player. We got to put him in top 10. He's top 10 talent, bro. When it's all said and done, he's he going to be Mark Rushmore. He's going to be top four. Mine's Mike, Kobe, LeBron, and uh, Steph. Because the impact and the winning that they did is unbelievable. Maybe you should look at plus minuses. I, I can't believe it. Nick Wright, is, Nick Wright is terrible. He's terrible. He should be all right like I always thought. Anyway, like, subscribe, share. I made this video because I was in bed watching. I had to just respond real quick. Anyway, likes.